You know what? I'm going to go ahead and talk about this uh, flywheel that I've got here. I don't know if you can see it. I got enough paint on there. There we go. This is a fluid damper that's off of a 6.7 Cummins. And I've got it adapted to work onto my 4BT, which of course is the same thing as a 6BT. And you do have clearance issues that you got to deal with. Uh, the bolt pattern's perfect. It bolts up no issue. But as you can see, you got to do a little bit of self-clearancing here. Well, not self-clearancing. That'll just be a bad time. Typically, there's a flange that comes straight off of here. This is flat. So... That's usually flat straight across and that does interfere with the front timing cover. So you can see kind of the radius I had to put on it. I didn't do a great job with it, but literally I did this with a cutoff wheel and a grinding disc and then various uh, pads. And I really like it. It does help smooth the 4BT out quite a bit. People could go and get this machined and do it that way. I was cheap. I did too much on one and, and I had originally just cut off this entire section. But if you do that, what you wind up getting into is into the fluid and plastic and whatever the junk is that's inside this thing. And within a hundred miles, all that had come out and this was no longer dampening anything. So learn from my mistake and don't think you can just cut this all the way through like with a bandsaw or something that won't work you're gonna have to do this uh, to it and you just put a nice curve and you test fit and all that good stuff I'll show you the front timing cover I did have to mod it just a little bit Ugh. getting caught on things so besides my paint holidays here this thing and I bashed that in this thing here needs to be a little clearancing. But when people say your timing cover and your oil pan are the issue, this is what they're referring to, is this area. You gotta make sure that's out of the way, of course. Uh, put it wherever you need to. Um, but this is the issue. This clearance right here is the problem that people have. And you can see that that juts out quite a bit. And so it will contact here and just destroy everything and here. And so I got into it just a little bit with my grinder. And of course that front timing cover is aluminum. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, it doesn't take too much. You can even see uh, part of the bolt. Hopefully I won't have to clearance that again, but if I do, I don't really care. It's not a big deal, but, um, with the mod that I did on that one over there, on that flywheel, or f f damper, it's, it's called as a damper, and a tiny bit of clearancing here. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. Sorry, it's shaky. You can kind of see what I had to do. It's just the slightest adjustment to it. But I had no clearance issues. And I had this engine in the truck and uh, I was a big fan of the way uh, it ran and it ran really smooth up until it stopped running <laughs> uh, famous last words so yeah at any rate that's the way you get one of those things on your truck and I think this will work on five nines just the same as four BTs but the six cylinders are much more, much easier to uh, get balanced properly. Uh, you can get these for like a hundred, sometimes a hundred bucks or so shit. Let me find the part number. Let's see. What is that? Three, two, eight, 
five six seven nine. That's funny. Yeah, three two eight or something. I'll look it up. But it does work. It does work just fine. You just need to uh, spend some time clearancing it. There's another view of it. Get out of the light. So yeah, it, it's really tempting to try to take it off right up here. But it won't work. You gotta leave that material there. And I'm only running a six belt or six rib belt on my truck, so I don't need the extra eight, but I have a feeling that it would run just fine, so I was just careful on it. But that's kind of the camphor you gotta put on it. And it's just a custom one-off thing. So hit me up if you guys have any questions about it. I'll be happy to uh, talk about it. But I pretty much just did it. You just get in there and start clearancing. Get there with a grinder and go nuts. All right, talk to you the fellas later. I'm assuming. I mean, maybe there's some diesel chicks out there. I, I don't know. But there you go.